Amen. Thank you so much, um, Eulalie Willis Roberts, for praying for us over this session tonight. So I just want to welcome you to the first in a series of webinars entitled Quarantine and Build. And I, I just want to thank you all for joining. Um, it is a time when all of us are in some kind of seclusion in some way, shape or form, but it is also a time to build. And Nehemiah chapter two, verse 17 to 18 says, then I said unto them, you see the bad situation that we are in, that Jerusalem is desolate and its gates burnt by fire. Come, let us rebuild the walls of Jerusalem so that we will no longer be a reproach. I told them how the hand of God, of my God has been favorable to me and also about the king's word, which he had spoken unto me. And they said, let us arise and build. So they put their hands to the good work. Let us arise and build in this season. We just want to thank you tonight. And our first guest that is, uh, has joined us tonight is Mr. Rory White. For some of us, he may be a distant stranger, and for other, others of us, he is very, very close. And so tonight, we're gonna ask uh, Rory some questions. And if you have any questions as he speaks, or you want, you want to know anything about the topics that we'll be discussing, then feel free to put in the chat or raise your hand so that we can talk to, with, with Mr. White. Mr. White is the CEO of Seven Crave, a business that was built in the dark that has arisen to the light in a season such as this. And I'm gonna invite Rory to introduce himself and he's gonna tell us who is Rory White? A lot of persons have been asking the question, who is Rory White? Unmute. Rory? Yeah, sorry about that. Go Good night, everyone. Everyone can you hear me? Yes, loud and All clear. Right. Loud and clear. Good night. Good All right. Good night. Um, it's a who's Rory White? Um, yes. so Rory White is a uh, first of all a Christian, born again. Yes. Love of Christ. Um. Second, the family man, right? Um, I have wife and two kids. Um, love them dearly, right? And um, third, you know, entrepreneur slash um, mathematics lover slash try to play the music <laughs> every now and then. Um, so I love music and maths. Um, so my philosophy was always the M M double -O double M inverted M. That's M M. That's math music, and the inverted M is for double, which is was for my wife. Right? So <laughs> M double, yeah. Double M inverted M. Um, and that's my philosophy has always been. Um, recently, um, more so a lot more in business. Um, I've always been in corporate and uh, teach as well. I teach math. Well, I, I still teach maths. Um, I lecture at UTEC part-time, for those who didn't know. I lecture actuarial science. So I'm still doing maths every day, same way. Um, but if I'm not teaching, if I'm not doing maths, I'm most of the business, right? Which right now takes up 90% of my time. Right. right? So, yeah, so that's Rory in a nutshell. Great, fantastic. Thank you so much. So we want you to tell us how did you get to the point of wanting to become an entrepreneur and your journey to become a successful entrepreneur? Um, wanted to become an entrepreneur. I'm not sure if I wanted to become an entrepreneur. Enough. I just wanted to solve a problem. I think that's where it started from, right? So I, like when I was at school, I said I wanted to become an entrepreneur. I wanted to become a businessman. It wasn't like that. Um, right. When I just started, I always wanted to become an actor. So that's what I went to school and studied actual science. So I've always been maths. Um, for those who know me, know that 
Matt is what I eat, sleep, and breathe, right? But I, I, I think in 20, I think 2013, thereabouts, he's going to realize that um, maths, even though I'm good at maths, yes. it wasn't my true passion, right? Um, so there's a, there's a difference between your passion, right? And what you're good at. A lot of persons think what, what they're good at, they need to be doing that. But that's not really, that's not what, that, that's, that, that's not the case, right? Even they're good at something, doesn't necessarily mean that they're passionate about it. That's, there's a big difference right. between that, right? So even though I was good at, at math, I realized I was passionate about it. Um, hours and hours, sleepless nights doing math. I would more like to do that doing computer science, which is programming. So right. I realized that my true passion was computer science, right? And how I knew that was when I realized if I start, start to program or I start to learn programming, I realized that days would pass, I don't get much sleep, right? And I realized this is what I truly, truly love. So I think we have to, was when I told my wife that I'm going to stop the actual science and I'm going to use computer to create, to create solutions. And she was, I thought she was going to be hesitant because I was doing some actual exams. Actual exams are similar to the, the accounting exams, the ACCA exams and so forth. Right, right. right. So I actually decided to stop doing those exams and just um, focus on creating solutions. And she was up for it. She said, all right, she'll work with me. And then I remember I asked her, um, what's, um, what, what, what's the first solution we can build? Like, what kind of problem we have? Right. And just uh, at the time, we couldn't find food, right? Um, Cause we just migrated to Kingston that time, so she was pregnant, and whatever she craving, let's say she, let's say she craving aki or whatever, we didn't know where to go to buy it, right? So that was the first problem. I said, well, I need to get people to discover food and right. get food. So I told her that would be a solution. Then so I learned to code and try to build an application, which is now called Seven Crave, which gets food to people. So and then, and then everything evolved into business and everything. But it's just really a solution I wanted to create. Right. Um, so you created a solution to a problem. Right. And you created that solution to solve a problem. Right that you, your your own family experience yeah, right right and, what they were experiencing right yeah, so your family was experiencing a problem and you created a solution to 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 um for that for that problem that your your family was um experiencing and that solution would have become so relevant today as mm -hmm. we speak in 2020 and i want you to tell us about that solution rory all right so the the, the the application is called Seven Crave. It's a mobile app, um, and both on Android and and the Apple Store. Also, a website as well where people can go and they search for the favorite meal, right, or search for a favorite restaurant. So you can search for food or restaurant, and once you find it, add it to add the meals to your cart, browse for the meal or you want in this time, I will deliver it to you, right? So right okay. now we partner with 18 nine restaurants. You're, um, you're partnering with one, two, how many? 89 restaurants now. 89 in restaurants. King, right, in Kingston and San Andrew. So okay. once, you, one, once you browse the restaurant, um, add the meals to your car, check out like it's Amazon, so you can pay using credit card online like Amazon mode, or you can pay okay. using cash and delivery. Um, once you submit the order, the order goes to the restaurant, the restaurant prepares it, um, our delivery person will go and pick up the order and bring it to the customer, right? Okay. So, uh, so in, light, in light of what is happening now, you know everybody uh, um, loving that solution because they can order their favorite meal. Right. So that has been going good. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. How long ago did, did you start? Um, the app was launched in 2016, 2016, right? But the business, the company started in 2015, um, roughly a year to create the app and everything, um, get investment and all those stuff. And it will launch right. out in 2016. 
So, so we saw that Rory found a solution. So you, so you mm -hmm. found a solution. Since and you the started, right, to a problem. You started to build um, when nothing was happening um, to see, you know, where this business will take you. What were your expectations of the business? Um, honestly, I didn't do it for the money. Um, so all I wanted people just to use it and it solved their problems. That's all I wanted. Um, and then I figure maybe more or less money will come. Right. But I can tell you, honestly, I wanted to solve a problem and I figure other persons were facing the same problem. Um, so the, so it wasn't, so I wasn't expecting to say, boy, the business is going to reach this or that. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I don't plan very long. I plan like short to medium. So it's like right now I just need persons downloading this app and using it and I'll see where it takes me. Yeah. But right now I know right now persons don't know. If they want food right now, they can't get it. Right. Uh, we should have to call Pizza Hut or did they get up and drive, go and get the food. Right. So, so that's what I wanted. I just wanted people to get to use the app and then afterwards then maybe we figure out how to monetize it or something like that right but right. we do it for the money um at first right so it wasn't for the money at first but you have evolved and the business has grown over the last couple of years tell right. us about, fast forward 2020 how did you get to this point where this business becomes so relevant during this time of quarantine and all of that what would, I, would you have been doing over the years that would have made you relevant at this moment in time? All right, well, so two, well, first thing, ensure that you have good, any business at all, make sure you have good, 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 good customer service, right? Right. So customer service is key. The second thing, make sure whatever you're doing, make sure the product itself is really good, right? Um, what we spent over the years was trying to make sure that the product was good and people yeah. love the product. When people use the product, they want to use it again. So we yeah. spend all, everything, our developers, everybody, we spend time doing that. Make sure the customer service up, make sure the app up. So if persons who use the app already can tell you that the app, the app don't even feel, I mean, sad to say, but it doesn't feel local. It doesn't feel like okay. a local, right? Um, we want to uh, I feel like like people can say, boy, the app is sophisticated. So right. over the years, we just, just make it good, make it good. People keep using it and people keep referring um, referring the app. So we, we bank on a lot of word amount, to be honest yeah. with you. Um, I know a lot of persons will say, boy, use social media and so forth. But social media, we use it, but I can tell you it's not as effective as word amount, right? Once your product is good and people talk, that's the most effective thing because you will buy something when your friend, your best friend, tell you that it's the best thing and you need to buy it, right? You're yeah. not going to scroll on Instagram or, or Facebook or anything and you see something that you like, sure, you give it a like, you know, but it won't, it won't lead to what you will take you know, money out of your pocket, right? right? So the best way you take money out of your pocket is when your friend tells you, so listen, buy this, it's the best thing, right? So we bank on a lot of word of mouth and... Uh, that's how we grow using word of mouth. And once we get a customer, we try the best to keep the customer. We do everything to make them nice. We give them um, a little incentives, coupons, and we give them um, pen, right? All kind of stuff just to make sure that um, they're happy and they keep telling their friends. So I think right before right before COVID, we had about we had about 20,000 20, customers in Kingston. Okay. No, 20, 20, 22,000 customers in Kingston right before COVID. Um, and then after COVID, and then you all know, know with the whole KFC partnership, then it almost double. So we're almost like 40,000 customers in space of like two or three weeks. So um, you, have literally, you, have, you have literally grown significantly or exponentially overnight. Yep. How did you deal with that and how did you manage? Um, so we pretty much drowned uh, um, the, the first couple days. I said, John, I mean, little drowned, drowned, dead, right? Um, I don't know, KFC, 
KFC no joke. Right. Um, this is the land of KFC, if you never know, right? Um, and Jamaicans love KFC. When I mean, when 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 let me just go back a bit. When they call, you know, and it's a boy Rory. Um, they saw whatever research they did. I, I think they saw it best to partner with us uh, to deliver, right? I was kind of nervous and excited at the same time because we know what KFC bring, right? Yes. But at the same time, they can't, they can't turn down that, right? Right. Um, so, but I know it was going to be like that. It was way past what we anticipated, right? So all along, I think in my head, so we were scaling up, getting drivers, because I think right before KFC, we had 16 full-time um, delivery personnel, bikers. Now we have about 50-something, right? So to hire and scale, we say, all right, maybe double up or so. Um, but when they came on and they, they hit it, hit the ground running with all the marketing and everything, and everybody flocked the website, flocked the app, I mean, whole heap of stuff. We thought we, we, we the server come and did the server overload. Um, we went through pretty much hell and come back. Wow. And, then, and, and um, a lot of customers were disappointed. Oh, God. We have customers waiting three hours. Three hours going on for food. We, it was launched that Thursday, and the next day was a Friday. You know, Friday is no cooking day. Right. So everybody hit it. So... We pretty much died, but um, I had to like worry and if we get back up out of this now. Yeah. Maybe, how, how can I solve this, right? So I have to start scale quickly now. How can I hire as much persons and do all the due diligence? So I have to get my police friend to check the background checks and everything quickly. I have to try and move as quick because it kept growing. I mean, just couldn't meet the demand. I mean, one time now, I feel like literally droning, like it was literally my tele couldn't manage the, the demand. And then right. I just remember a dream. I had a vision that God gave me, which kind of kept me going, which I can't, I'm not, I'm not able to share it. But yes, was a vision ahead. I got where yeah. I can share it. Yeah, man, go ahead. Go ahead. So it, uh, it's, a, it's a vision I got about two years ago, or a year and a half, roughly, where everything was turmoil and um in the dream uh, because well, my life i've always got communicate with me through dreams all the time when i, I, I communicate with me right so yes. in the dream let me say boy Rory, um you have to go in there because everything will go wrong i mean i said god what do you need to do and he said boy go to the middle of the ocean and submerge wow. and i said god i said god if we go let me go to the ocean I got dead. And I said, we can't do that. Right? We can't do that. And I said, go. Right? He said, three times in the dream. So go. And but still, you know, reluctant. Yes. I said, go and go call me. No, I said, I'm going to go to the Dead, me dead. Right? And yes. he shout after me and said, go. And then, you know, reluctantly went. But me, I'll go. He stopped me and tell me, I said, I'll make my competitor. I can't call his name. Yes. He said, make the competitor be your friendly neighbor. Right? I mean, never really answer what it means, and he said again, the company competitor name clear as they made them be a friendly neighbor, right? And then I'm like, okay, whatever that means. So I end up leave, I'm going to the middle of the ocean. And when I was there in the middle, going down, submerging, going down the bottom of the ocean, then I actually find myself dying, I was drowning, and my eyes start to close up. And in the dream, I ended up dead. In the Dream, right? Dead yeah. as they emerge. And in the dream, now, after a little while, I found my eyes open and eyes open up. And I look up, and when I look up, I saw the sun rays on top of the water. So the sun shining on the water. So I knew it was morning, right? And then I started to float back on top. And um, when I was floating by the ocean, oh. and when I ended up, I ended up, when I, when I, when I ended up emerge, I was at Yui. Right? And I came up on top on a feet and I was like, God. And when I looked, now I saw every, like, I saw staff, like, seven cribs, and people just walking about happy. And it was like a complete turnaround from what 
was experiencing. And I said, God, are you this? And so I look at everybody just happy. And they just wake up, right? And the knows from then say there was a sacrifice never gonna make at some point in time, right? And the sacrifice I made, well, I can tell you, was give up my nine to five, um, right. stable income, right? From a stable institution, I have to give it up for the business, right? Because the business reached a point now where, you know, you know at first I try to juggle, I try to juggle business at nine to yes, five, yes. right? That thing, that thing work up to a point. You have to make a sacrifice. And yeah. until I say, that was a sacrifice. I know that when I make the sacrifice, and I'm going to die, I know that. Right? But I know in the morning, it will be and good. it's going to shine. Right? Yeah, man. Look forward to the morning. I tell you, I, I get it. I, I am drowning now. I'm going to reach. Yes. Morning yet. That drone flew up and no, but me just no, me remember the vision and remember say they're gonna be a morning, yeah. So yeah. I look forward to that, right? Um, right. So that that's what really keep me going. Um, but right now we still can't meet demand fully. We're barely making it right now. As we still have a lot of persons getting their food late. Um, I was still hiring every day. We're hiring, 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 hiring. So we're just doing what we have to do. Trust God. I will know say the morning will come, yeah. Right, um, right. I always have a trust him from day one because from day one, I'm always a carry me and open the doors for me. So I know I'm not going to leave me, right? When we really right. bank on and trust. Right. So, so there are a couple of things we see Rory that Rory did. He looked at his product, looked at his customers, and fundamentally, or the most, the most significant thing is he listened to the voice of God. And some of us, sometimes we get our dreams, Rory, and we do not take them seriously. And you got that vision. Actually, that is a vision God was showing you of this um, exceeding abundantly above blessing that he will pour out on you in a, in a season mm -hmm. to come. You know, and, and you didn't understood what it would mean in this season. When you oh. a contract with KFC, how did you feel and what did you do? Um, it was... Well, it was a lot of work because Casey, um, Casey is tricky you now, <laughs> right? <laughs> and uh, I mean, you're talking about the largest franchise, right? Restaurant yeah. franchise in Jamaica. So, they, so you know, they're not going to just come with no like a thing. Right. So we had to change up whole heap of stuff. Um, I was pressured, days when I sleep, um, pressured, stress. Yes. Stress, stress. Um, we are because right now it's an order, the food goes straight to KFC. Right now, it's, the order goes to KFC, right? So, so you have to tie up with your system and everything. So, it was stressful. I was excited and nervous at the same time because I said, I deal with KFC, we know the people will come out strong, right? Right, and I know it's kind of was a make or break. So, when I put them, say, God, is that I gonna make it make? Or it'll go pop up, right? right. Um, and uh, but honestly, the kind of knows the boy that go make because I vision and I trust God, right? Yes. Because I mean, the doors are open up for KFC, the whole KFC deal. And so they might ask me, like, how, how, how the hell you get KFC? Like, remember the staff asked me, like, how, how you get? And it's my delivery person. And I said, will you do it? And I think even, 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 um, Shareholders, friend of my have, but yeah. well, well, she, um, she has a company. The boy, where you get KC? Where you do? I never do nothing, and they don't believe me, right? Right. But when God opened up doors, my wife not doors, yeah. Yes. And, and um, man, the people, people, everything. Say, boy, I'm go and do holy pash fandangle and go network this and try if you do that and da 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 and submit this and submit that. Never do none of that. KC call me. Right. Right. And. Uh, when them call and say, hey, my surprise, right? Excited, surprise, everything I got you. So what is, right? But me just know it right. works, I got it, yeah? And, yeah. and some of them do constantly. Once me, know, once me have the faith, we trust him, and constantly open doors, right? So me just go and hold on and thing. But I can tell you, say, how me did feel? I tell you, nervous and excited. Yeah. Right? 
more more exciting, even too exciting. Right. I mean, right. this going to be like the next big thing for us, you know? And it indeed is. Because I think the others, like, right now we do what we used to do and thing, right? So uh, it's a good thing. I'm, I'm going to just give God thanks. You know? Right. Tell us, tell us, Rory, how do you shift or navigate this, this change in seasons? And I want our audience to, to, to learn some of the principles that you have, in, you have um, employed in your own life and in your business. And, and how do you navigate the shift in seasons? Um, all right, let's go back before we get to the shift in season, right? Let me just say some principles that in my business that I... One, um, I, I don't have people work for me. That's the first thing. So that's the first thing in my business. That right. people work with me, right? So what I want, I have one playing field. Everybody does have different position on the field. Right. But everybody has the coach and the coach. So right now, me, would that be, the, if, I, if I look at the, a, a soccer field, our football field, and you have the players, you have the man on the side, you have the manager, you have the coach on the side. So me would have been the manager, let's say, right? not if you should notice so much. Not to know me that be. Me everything right now, I'm a forward and manager and thing. But any day, day, I have, you have the goalkeeper, you have the midfield, everybody. So you say, all the delivery people, everybody, me everybody are one, close. Right. Tell us, me tell us from, from four years ago to now, if a zero percent turnover rate, they wouldn't believe me, right? Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's serious, that right? Is from, awesome. the, from the developers to admin people to to the to the, to the riders and everybody, nobody never leaves. They have everybody good, right? They treat them good, right? And uh, them see me as just like them, just like right. them, right? Um, everybody at this, as one playing field. There's no on top, whatever. Just that everybody play a different part in you know, the company, right? Right. right. Yeah. So that's, a, so that's the first that my philosophy you work mm -hmm. for me, and my continue to keep it like that, right? Um. So that's one. Um. And whenever it's like it's like now it's with that it's with that foundation we get we get the team for always can pump up and ramp up and everybody can get those stuff. So right. when when things shift and COVID come in now and everything start get hectic, right? When we look to my people, when I look to the developer team and say, we need to do this, we need to do that, we need to do that. Everybody on board fully, right? right? Because it's the rapport you have with the people. And that's that important. So everybody who who interested in um, the business and you start a company or a business or whatever it is, make sure you say, you know, have this. Um, you are the boss type of thing and what you will say go and whatever and so it work right right I listen to them I listen to them even even last night mr and listen so much voice note on whatsapp group because all 50 of them and then my voice i'm concerned about this so i listen every single one and tell them what plans or whatever so them them them, them feel right everybody like and the right yeah. so and them feel like them are making changes to the business if you listen this and somebody Things that them, them say, we make, we make some changes already to the app, the app that the riders them use and whatever, and them feel like they're part of the whole thing. So that whenever things get hectic, I have full support from a team, right? He has riders, he has riders for work overtime. It is a no-brainer for him, right? Them yes. call me super, they don't call me super. Them say super, I lease that man, right? <laughs> right? Trust me. So the Make sure say you have a good relationship with the team, and you know go and like say, boy, you're bigger than big and you're mightier than mighty, right? Because people will leave you quick, quick, quick. Right, right. right. And, and, and that has contributed are, to your no turnover rate. Yeah, man, no turn. Yeah, nobody will leave. And, and wow. the important thing, it, 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 all right. Even the riders, they mess along with them. We talk to them about um investment and all them stuff there. Talk to them about you know not working for rest of your life, but at the end of the day, you, it's, it's supposed to reach to a point where you can give somebody the bike and make them ride for you, you know, yes. and, thing, and show them um, how to make money and all them stuff there. So then them have a relationship, right? So um, them never, never at no point 
behave like say the only the only people who know me and feel my presence is the people outside. Like people don't really know who they be in Seven Craves. Right. Um, people hurt. They will hear about. Especially like no, it takes nothing but Seven Crave and so. But nobody really know who they be in Seven Craves, right? Oh, and so people out there not really feel the presence of the, the CEO of Seven Crave. It's just like, I think I mentioned somebody said, just like Google. Nobody yes. knows the CEO of Google, but they love the product and thing, right? But everybody knows the CEO of uh, Facebook. Right. right. But nobody knows the CEO of Google. But yet, everybody loves Google, right? Yeah. So, because it's pro the product speak for itself. That's what I'm trying to do. I try to get Seven Crave, the product to speak for itself, right? And then stay behind the scenes and make sure I said kind of with everybody good so we can put yes. out a good product, right? right. That, that's how I'm trying to do. So I'm mean, not really, I'm not the person who go out and everybody knows. This is probably like a second interview. You don't try, nobody really know me, honestly. So um, so make sure when things, when things, have, to get, when things have to shift, you have good support from your team. Right, because yes. my time I have a crank up, right? Um, and we have a crank up quickly, that make sure your team can crank up too, right? Right, and make sure you have the support and nobody's not asking up. If are you alone, a benefit or whatever they can say, make sure you say you build a relationship that's important, right? So, you mentioned a couple of points, Rory build your relationships both with your team, um, your staff, and your customers build and build a product so that you have a good um, foundation within which your yep. business um, will work. How do you, so, so the other person would have been, mm -hmm. how do you know, how, how was the transition? How was the shift into this new season? Well, besides, I'm going to say hectic because with the new season and everybody know, it's not delivery. Everybody knows that other food, you know, right? Um, so who never had a food before? I don't right. know. Uh, so right? I have to hire a lot, right? And then the finance, I have to make sure they're on top of the finance. I make sure they're not lose. You know, bleed right. cash, you know, and do this. So you have, to, you have to do all of that simultaneously. And all the restaurant, well, all, them, all the restaurant, all of them want to do promotion. Everybody wants because, Mark, you know, the restaurant, the restaurant thing rough, right? Because nobody not come in again, everybody look to delivery. So all the restaurant, they now start look to, look to seven crib now to pull through because we have some exclusive partnership like i don't know if you see mothers we partner with mothers with an exclusive partnership uh mothers were doing free delivery exclusive partnership with tgif the tgif actually locked down dining right and yeah. only delivery they will do right only delivery through seven crib um and you have a couple like chili you know, do some other stuff exclusive with seven crib again free delivery and everybody had turned to delivery and because everybody turned to delivery no, me now, I feel I try to please everybody. Me and them, I have enough people to please the customer. I have to make right. sure I have people to attend to the restaurants them and make sure they can put on the promotion them and change up their menu and take off and all that. And I tell us, and all of that. You get stressed. That was yes. important. And we could have ramp, we have to ramp up quickly, right? Meaning that to hire. Normally, you know, when I hire you, it was go through a proper due diligence and everything. We never have the luxury there in the time. Wow. Yeah. I give you no luxury to say, all right, I'll call you back in five days or whatever. You don't have, you don't have that. So you have to, when I interview, you have to just say, listen, I'm going to take you. I'm going to take Here we go on, God. And the person they are giving. Hello, hello. You have a point in time. We just call and some people. I'm putting them in our room. I'm saying, listen, I trust God say. We're not the right people for the, for the work. See? Yes, yes. So not your thing. And, and they end up turning out to be really good. But yes. they end up saying, God, you know, I'm going to call about the right people. Like I'm going to see people are, all the people sending resume and them stuff. They have some people go through it and then put it together and say, all right, we're going So, like, the, the, the five year or six or whatever, seven or whatever. And I said, listen to me, man. I need, like I said, I need more. I said, you know what? No, God. I'll make some call, I'll make me call the right people them because yes. I have, I have certain luxury. I have the luxury to tell them, say, boy, I need a kind of recommendation from the last 
um, employer, they need this, they need that. Um, you, you have got to go to all your criminal records and all this stuff. All this stuff we usually do, we couldn't do because we need yeah. the person to start tomorrow, right? And that's all, that's all it sees when we make it rough on us. Rough, yeah. rough, rough. But in everything though, as I said, my answer them normally not typical to you. Mm -hmm. My thing, my thing are from above. You understand? So, me, me govern when it come on to trusting God that God and me, me, me make the right decision. Even hiring me look to him. I mean, I hire, we look to God. Me know when probably I say, you yeah, push it. But I might mean, tell my wife, right? Say, boy, listen, Sean, me trust. Say, God, I'm going to make me get the right people in. Right. So I pray and say, God, put the right people in the business. You know, make me have to go through whatever coming out. So in all of this, I can tell us, say, the best thing I can do in the business is just put it in the hands of God. I can yes, yes. I tell you. Uh, you we still have to put in work, still, you know. Yes. Because fear don't work, so, you know. That now go, that now go happen. Yeah. So your staff, your support system, you, the product, the service, what? and most importantly, your faith in God. Yeah, then that's it. Right. Right. So, um... Yo, I want... You're good. <laughs> and you're good. <laughs> I want yeah. our audience, if, if you have any questions for Rory, you, you can... Um, unmute your mic now and ask the question. Um, I saw somebody asking Rory, when are you going to go out of town? I can't see, I can't see where they're typing. You can't see the chat? No, I, no man, I will, I will navigate that for you. Somebody's okay. asking, when will you be going out of town? After COVID. <laughs> Post COVID. Post COVID, I don't know when, when is that, yeah? Right. Okay. All right, so Sansa, your question but, um, is answered. We're definitely answer. looking to go to Portmore. Huh? No, I said we're looking to go to Portmore next. Right. And after Portmore, um, well, cover, try to cover as much as St. Catherine as possible and then branch okay. out from there. Right. So I have another question for you, Rory. How involved is your family, your wife, and other family members? Um, Involved, but you know, let me tell you why. No, one why so she had a face, she's a COO. Um, she oversee all the operations, big contract and get the sign and oversee the developers, them and make sure. So, in other words, she makes sure that the car are pretty, um, clean and well. The, the rims them look nice and amaral. The other person was to make sure seven checks so the aisle change, the engine mm -hmm. run, and them stuff there. So, right. So that that are mine. Just make sure say the car can drive. And her job is to make sure say the car look good, right? Um, right. My mother, big organ. The mother and brothers, them them involved. Trust me, my, my brother them even helped me type up a resignation letter. Even me, I hesitate from the nine to five. And yeah. said, no matter what it is. No, I mean, brother, literally type it up for me and send it. Wow. And then I read it, I add one and two things. I hesitate, you know, man. See it. And then type it up, right? And then right. say, what else I need? What else I need? And, and then they overseas, right? Okay. Pretty much, them, 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 them try their best to help me, right? Okay. Um, we still have a devotion. We still have devotions. And we have devotion because we have family devotion we have devotion thing them start before they start devotion I have to tell them about the business and whatever and them pitching ideas and everything so family right. support good yeah yes and that is very very important for you to have the family support um when you're when you are in in business um where where is seven crave going in the next yeah. few years um next well one try cover all the urban places in Jamaica. Let's put it away there. Right. Most of the metropolitan places, them which I cover them: Scotchy, Mobile, um, Saint Catherine. So which I cover as much of them, right? Everywhere yes. is demand. Second, probably look for branch of Caribbean because we have a technology and everything right now. Can branch the Caribbean. Um, where it's called a like, mechanical tell you say it's like decentralizing it. Yeah. Where. Yes. Like that be like an Uber Eats, right? and um, 
and we're probably we're gonna go we're looking up on the stock the stock market. So wow. hopefully here now probably interested them and will in invest no? yeah so buy some shares <laughs> so encouraging everyone and that when the when the, the, when next, the, when the ipo when the ipo is years. issued for seven crave ensure that you are the first to jump on to buy shares in this wonderful company because we knew we know the background we know um when it started we know we, we watched the growth and we will have um we will have the opportunity okay, God to nice, God nice. <laughs> in this in this uh, wonderful company so rory i see a, a few things playing out here so there was a need and you found a solution to fill that need the solution has become an we will become an empire and the solution will live on because the solution can also be sold to other um other 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 companies who wish to do the same business like you so the, the, yeah. the thing about business is that business begets business. You start a business and then something else evolves out of it. And we're seeing yeah, that yeah. happening. Yeah, so let me talk. Go ahead. Well, let me just touch on that a bit. Um, so when Seven Crave started, it wasn't a, it wasn't a food delivery thing, you know. Uh, we would just have a person to find the food. So if I, if I search for like, Aki and saltfish. Yeah, okay. I love Aki and saltfish. But yeah, if you search for Aki and saltfish, right, it's supposed to show you the restaurant um, that says Aki and saltfish. It's run to you. And then you now would have to get up and go in your car and get it, right? But it would have shown you know, all the restaurants that sell our um, original idea. We went with that idea. We went to even observer, glean up people that try to partner with that idea. It never worked out, right? You know that the revenue yeah. model was that restaurant will pay a subscription fee to right. be listed on the platform. That was that that never worked out, right? Because one day before we launch, even before we launch, you know, because the whole thing was just I don't know if it, you guys know Seven Cray, but a lot of images and so it was to show you how the meal look and everything. So one day I was there with the team and I said, guys, you understand now. We are building a app here right now, and it has show the people a nice meal, this nice aki and saltfish dumpling. And the idea them can't eat it, them can't get it. So you know, so tell me, close, get it. What if you close? Click a button and get it. And that's where the whole um, food delivery aspect. You know, I said, no, you can switch midway before lunch. Me now a short space of time to switch to incorporate delivery. And, and how we say we got the delivery, we're gonna share with you now. So that first thing I said publicly. But how we how how we say we're gonna do delivery was that we're gonna outsource the delivery. So we we're, weren't gonna do delivery ourselves. Right. And there was this one company at the time, and I'm sure if they're still in business, right? But uh, there was this one company that was doing it at the time, right? And I saw the other on Facebook. Right, and reach out to him and I said, Boy, listen, here I'm have this app, you know, and people can find food, but if they want it, can you like bring it to them? And I said, Yeah, I'm gonna say, listen, I'm gonna tie your email system, so tie in the system, such that when people put their order in, we just send it to him, right? And him now with a with a deliver it. Right. So when we I'm gonna say this now, say so those who have idea no feel no way we're not now going for your business. But I tell us when we just started it, you know. And uh, we say, yeah, man, it's not with him, man. Sell it to him, and he say, yeah, man, he go back. We roll it out. No order. The first day we yeah. get no order, right? I said, what if? I mean, we will pump up in on my side. I will be go flat ticket because we have this like coming soon thing. Not right. one person order, right? Next day we see one one order coming, and we said, we said, God, everybody jump up and say, well, answer one order, yeah. <laughs> I would take the one order, you know, man, and we give it to him for, yeah. him, for, him, to, for him to deliver. In two hours to deliver the one meal, one day, because apparently, our thing is a priority. So, he might feel, feel beer or do feel thing. Yeah. So, the one customer we get never say, What kind of food is this? I said, No, sir, this can't work, right? But we keep him on still. The next yes, yes. day, we don't get no order. The next day, because the one customer. 
next day we have, we have market, we get two orders. And I say, what I better to say, the two orders were a big thing. So just, 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 just bear that in mind. The two orders there, big thing. Yeah. So I end up now, give me two orders, then see empty happen. So I say, I'm not going to work out. So we'll plug him off. Plug him out of the system. Now we'll plug him out of the system. And say, listen, it's not going to work. Is that, now, now I'll get my dear and then myself some, some delivery, right? Which we never did want for you know. That wasn't the intention. None of the time. We never want to be a food delivery company. Right. right? Because we don't want the people find food. But you, this man, but just because the, the business, we couldn't have that, right? Yeah. So I said, no, sir, I'm pull, plug him out. I would say, listen, let me go get some beer. I said, so I get up, run up a whole heap of biker. I have yeah. a meeting, I book this place, I have a meeting and sell them. People. We have a bad piece of apple, we don't get a whole heap of others and things and things. People them say, yeah, man, I'm excited. They're about 10 riders line up, you know. And then the the next day, you know, nothing. Chirp, chirp. No other than Alcobi. So the rider them say, what are going <laughs> Right? So we get a one, two order. Yeah. We, get we get a dispatcher at the time, a dispatcher. Give the, give the rider them, rider them all over the place and do their own thing, because they don't get no other. So the, so the dispatcher gets fed up and walk off for the work. The rider them say, I'm foolish, is this, yeah? Right, because the nice no other come in, I want me tell them so much other are coming in, right? And then whatever. So I said, no, sir. So I go back to the drawing board again. I said, Rory, no, man, this is a thing I want me to do. So I end up not, and, and, and generally, people, you know, go through that. So then start a business, just make sure, say, we don't go through that, not give up. So what I yeah. do, I just end up a little right now, scrap that. So I end up get one biker, one single man, one, one man, in look rough, but I say, listen, I work with you. I said, listen, right now, hear me. You are going to run the thing, you see? Every other, you'll get it. You'll take the full money. We don't want no money out of that business, Sophia. No, we don't want no money out of We just want the people them happy, right? That's mm -hmm. all I want. And we tell him, say, everything, the whole entire delivery fee, we go to you. At the time, it was $350 for the delivery fee. Yeah. So every time somebody order them pay a $350 for the delivery fee, in go in getting $350. I mean, I make a dollar. <laughs> but I get, I get happy customers, yeah? Yes, yes. Same customer them, then, then tell another one. So the order move from one to two. I remember when the order for the month, you get 30 order for the month. I mean, say, so guys, for average, that's you know, that one order a day. What a big yes. thing. Celebrate that, yes. right? They remember Celebrate when they small successes. <laughs> yeah, we are watching yes. to the man. You the one right and he do 60 order for the month, right? Move to 60. Remember, you go 60 and a big thing. We said we double up. Right? So, and 60 others is a fraction of what we do per day right now. That's a small fraction. Right? So, it's a, it's a show you say, when, when God done the business and the business that grow, you just take your time and work with it. Embrace right. every step, you know, and give thanks to every little step. Yes. Yep. Um, so, but, but I don't want to get emotional, but yeah, every step, the one yes. other at the at the end was a big thing, right? Right. And, I appreciate it. And, and, and anybody who has got a business, definitely, if you, if you see a business, now nah, pull a certain way, just trust God, eventually, you will pull. All you need is focus on where you do good. Make the business speak for itself. Don't try to be the face of the business. Make the business be the face of itself. Yes. And make it be good. People will talk. And once people talk, people will run in and they will support your business, right? Um, and it will move to the top of the mountain eventually but mm -hmm. i just say don't don't um don't give up because yes. it may give up when things are look when 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 so piece of bad when this walk off of the world foolish is this everybody walk off left left me ah well that was in the early early stage because this matter said the right of them right she'll give right of them and can't get nobody so it doesn't make no sense right and that was in the early early stage i mean tell us from go back to the, the drawing board and catch the thing not one person lead me since. As I said, oh. from the company launch or thing, every single person still with me to this day, right? But I just go back to the drawing board and say, God, here we are going now. What me if you do? And I'm mm -hmm. telling us all the times that about the money, and not always about the money. So I'm telling right. us, I'm the man, say the full money. Him never concerned how me I make money, no? Right? He knows what I know, say, so if I make him look of bread, right? right? Me didn't make no money, but I get customers, and that was right. important. Yeah, I get happy customers. Yes. So, so that 
that doesn't know my answer the question because I'm going off on a tangent and then I can't get emotional and think. But yeah, I've never yeah. said this yet publicly. So right now, we don't know, they don't know the, 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 the history behind Seven Crave. So any, anything will happen to Seven Crave tomorrow. And if it, if it take off and it reach to certain heights, the member, the men tell us, say, well, let me just start. Not in the end, they Not even scrap. Mm. Right? So, just remember, still come to me have to give thanks, yeah? Yes, yes, we give and we and we, we give God thanks for you and for where He has brought you humbly too. Um in this in this season. So we are quarantined, we are building, we're building in the dark, we're building our, our lives, we're we're being led by the spirit of God because Rory, the CEO of Seven Crave, was led by the Spirit of the Lord to, to continue his business and to and to build, even when it appears as if it was just to fulfill a crave that his wife, his dear wife, had when she was pregnant. Um, I'll give you one or two persons an opportunity to ask questions. You may unmute your mic and ask Rory. Um, somebody's asking Rory, how would, would so, can someone apply and if there are any positions available? Oh, yeah, man. Um, we'll, we're looking for admin, more admin person. But, um, okay. one, I think one. Well, I'll give a dispatcher as well. I'm we looking for admin dispatcher. And we need to bring this for social, social media, right? So, we'll, hold on. Sorry, I'm not, not asked. But I asked the, the person who run things that we carry, you know. So, I'm right. asking why. And she run things. So just admin and dispatcher. So right now, just admin and dispatcher right now. So admin person to help out with um managing the restaurants then. Um because right now I tell you it's a whole heap of things. We like no restaurants even I come with whole heap of promotions so we can. You're 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 breaking up a little bit, Rory. You're saying you you need you need admin persons, yeah, you need dispatchers, you need admin, yeah, yeah man. Just need, adding a dispatcher right now. Delivery just persons to, as just well. And, and, and deliver, oh, delivery person, yes. If a driver or ride, depending on the right. ride bike. If a drive vehicle, yeah, well, look, yeah, yeah. If I want to use a vehicle for extra, you know, extra income, trust me, you can start. You can probably start tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, trust me. And even right now, I even made set up, made set up earlier. So I'm not sure if I'm ready for it tomorrow on the Friday. We are higher, but we don't have enough people. So, if you have a few efficient people that you think right now this time can go on the road and make two bad moves, um, how it works, let me tell you how it works. So, for the drivers, them, if they're interested, um, so, so I don't know, we're part of KC and, and Wendy's as well. So, those two, if you, um, we station you at a particular KC, um, and they will have when the customer. Then the customer place them order, it goes to the nearest case to the customer. Mm -hmm. uh, the driver does is he picks up like four, four or five KFC, right? And then just go in the community and drop them off. Okay. Right? So you have driver station at Manor Park, driver station at UE, KFC, UE, KFC, Manor Park, KFC, Sovereign, KFC, New York, KFC, KFC Boulevard. So if you look from any of those areas and want to station a vehicle, and get some others and go jump out and make some extra buck, you can link me. And they can, um, you can WhatsApp me. Can we give you the number? It's 825 1038. Say that again, Rory. 825 And, um, right. And they, so, so if persons are interested mobile, in applying um, for a position in the company, they can WhatsApp you on that number. Or email admin at sevencrave.com. So admin at sevencrave.com. Yeah, that's seven a seven numeral crave. seven. Yes. K-R-A-V.com. Great, wonderful. Are there any questions from our audience? Is there anything that you would want to ask Rory? You may unmute your mic and speak. There's someone asked about the point of sale. I saw a point of sale, but no, no, it's a point of sale. So you have to, you have to use your arm. You don't you have, have a point your, of sale? No, no point of sale. Um, right. So you use credit, 
so it's just e-commerce, right? It's just e-commerce, it's just online. It's online and, and, and cash, and cash and delivery as well. Okay. No, my point is that it's kind of, kind of backward in the South here, because you have to go Rory, you can't, Rory, you know you can't tell me that, right? You have to go point as well. Rory, Rory, you know you can't tell me that, right? <laughs> You're looking at the first world country. You're, you're breaking up a little bit. I don't know why. I'm not sure why they put kids on the internet. I don't know. But if, if you're looking at any first world country, can you hear me? No, you're breaking up. I don't know what happened. All right, go I'm ahead. I'm going to probably come here too. Uh, yeah, but I say, looking at any first world, you know, it's straight e commerce, you know, right? right? Think about it. You have a e commerce is like a loan. But here's the thing if I should use point of sale, machine I have, so yeah, you have to say, a 50 other day right now, and, and we will need more. So we have 50 at point of sale, but we'll come back to this point of sale. But for call on the money, you have the point of sale, they bring it come. So John can't use it. That makes no sense. Yes. Nah, trust me. It, it works. It works when. If you can, if you can ship, if you can ship, if you can ship a little, Rory, try and ship a little. We yeah. Still, we're still not hearing you properly. You still a break up? I'm not sure. Hold on then. Shant, we can check it on the internet downstairs. Maybe they must stream some stuff downstairs. No, no. All right, go ahead. I now. watch Netflix or something. Yeah, but my tell us, uh, the point I see, I would have it too much. That's hectic or something. I think what? The amount of point I see, the amount of Deliveries we are doing today, and we're gonna have, we're supposed to have point as yet a single delivery person. Is that yeah. too much? Okay, sir, I hear you. <laughs> any any know, other know, questions? Know. Any other questions from our audience? Unmute your mic or raise your hand. It's already it. It's already it. Are you ready? So if you're ready, come. Um, Good night, you everybody. To say something? Yes. I have a question. So if I am purchasing something from Chilitos, I do it through your app and then, because I'm all the way in Duane Park, and then they will just charge me for they would just pick it up from Chilitas and bring it to me here in Duane Park and just charge Correct. for that. Correct. Okay, cool. And for Chilitas, I think it will go, it will have a promotion with them now. So it's just been about 2,500. Um, they get 500 dollars off the delivery fee. We, we didn't get that worried. Tell us again. No, it's a promotion now with Chilitas. It will spend over 2,000. Five hundred. So if you spend, if you spend over two thousand five hundred for chilitos, what will you get? Free delivery. Five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars off the delivery fee. Yeah, oh, just okay. You get five hundred dollars off. So if you spend over two thousand five hundred, you get five five hundred dollars off at chilitos. Um, yeah. somebody's oh, asking, yeah. right? Somebody's asking Rory. Um, in terms of security, how security secure is your website to facilitate your customers, and especially with the expansion of the e-commerce facility, how how secure is your website? Um, um extremely safe. Um, because we have, I think I have probably the best of the best developer. Right. Okay. I don't know probably guys know NCB. So NCB gateway we use. Uh, we don't store any. So he, he has the best developers. He uses he NCB e-commerce. So. Right. Um, I anyway, typical. Yes. Um, we, we have the, what we store. We don't store the credit card information and stuff there. So don't need to okay. worry. There's nothing to worry about. Uh, so the transaction going over to the gateway, you know, that's fully backed by um, the security. Okay. Right? Right. So, uh, uh, no issue with security. It's not that one. So we, so we know that we know that the website is very secure. It's backed by 
NCB's e-commerce facility, right? Uh, Rory, someone yeah. is asking, how did you finance the development of your app? Because we know that building these technological um, platforms is very costly. Um, um. Well, no, it was not cost for me. Um, the reason why, and I guess this will work for everybody, but I didn't say, man, I had to learn to code just to build an app. So I learned to code and build an app, and then um, the database and, and the website and everything, versus to build that, to give them shares in the company. So I have no money for paying about it. So just listen, I have a, I have a, I have a vision. I build that, right. put much, share the vision, and I get them to believe that it's everybody. I need with you. Right, I'm dead. I'm not down, but I'm staying with me. I'm saying, I think I don't go with you. So, all right, let's do this pretty much. So, mm -hmm. you, you have to, but another person, uh, never tell me not, not, no, no, Give me a second here. Yes. Let me try something. I'm close up to the Wi Fi. Uh, hold on. Mama. Hold on. Close. Yeah, yeah, stream anything. I didn't say anything. The stream. Then, I'm watching cable. Cable? I don't know. Um, you hear me better? No, no better. Go ahead. You can hear me? Yes. Yeah. Um, all right, let me see. Hopefully, come down really good. Don't send it to my phone because yeah, I'm guessing. I got people downstairs, but um, yeah. Yeah, I tell us, I've never really um, never really have any cash, much cash for me. Um, the persons who help me build, it, they are they are not shareholders. Okay. Um, and the person advice in terms of how to deal with it, to get how to deal with partners and and shares and all that stuff, they are investing and so they can always check me. Can can tell them if you're careful to make some. Some, some some full full decision right. uh, now make some right. bad contract and end up a shop of business and people have ownership in the company and not really know. so I'm careful that little partnership stuff there right but um you can always get people to believe in their vision I have no to sell your, your vision and sell it and they can get people to just create the stuff for you to, with for just for ownership. So if anybody wants to create any app or anything like that, they can get it to do it for you for ownership. Or they can be like, for me, they can learn to do it can take something like that, you know? Okay. Great. Um, two, just two last questions, Rory, as we um, uh, come to the end of this um, great in, uh, interview and inspiring um, story of Seven Crave. If you had to do it over or what would you do differently in terms of your business? Well, differently? That's a good question. What would I have done differently? I don't know. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I, I and, I no, the thing not just do not do the same thing over. Do it the same way we do it. Um, yeah. Through the struggles the same. It wouldn't change that thing. Wow. Okay. Great. And somebody's asking if you had a mentor or somebody who you benchmark. Yeah, I have a mentor, but I don't know if you guys know him. He's also um one of the shareholders then. But he's from Google, and he's he's a, he's a white guy, but he was the first first to invest in, um, in extremely smart. Um, his name is JJ Jiwa. Okay. I don't know if you guys know him. Um, okay. Him look up to, so I, I can think. And then you have Joe, um, also this is Joe Matalan. But really and truly, um. The most of the most of the stuff them like women that let me look to is miss my peers and um and try to be a little smarter than you. Right. Yeah, you know, try make sure so you can get good advice. Um, right. But 
in terms of from investing and business mentorship, um, that's a JJ Givas. Him <laughs> ridiculously good. Okay, wonderful. Rory, we just want to thank you um, tonight. I'm sure every single one on this call tonight will be um, downloading the app from the Apple and Google stores and and be sure to spread the word about Seven Crave because this is our brother in Christ and we do good, especially to those who are, who are the household of faith. And so we'll definitely be supporting um, Rory in his business. We will definitely um, spread the word about Seven Crave. Um, we're happy to know you, Rory, and we look forward to bigger and great and mighty things to come. And we are going to ask the Lord's blessing upon your business as we close this um, exciting and, 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 and informative um, story that you have shared with us. And so um, Charmaine is going to close in prayer. If there are no other questions, I'm going to ask Charmaine to just pray for seven prayers. Okay. So, Father, we just want to thank you. Lord, we honor you because you are God alone. Lord, we thank you for the spirit of wisdom that you have given unto your own. Father, you said in your word that wisdom, mighty God, is a defense and money is a defense but the excellence of the knowledge of god and we thank you lord god that you have given him the wisdom how to execute in the name of jesus father we even thank you lord in the words in proverbs 16 you said that we must put your put our plans before you and you will give us the wisdom how to execute and father we thank you that rory has put everything before you and you have given the wisdom the knowledge the understanding how to execute father we thank you even for the spirit of excellence that are that you have put upon him in the name of jesus lord we even thank you for wise counseling mighty god we bless you father we pray in the name of jesus that you will take his business to a higher level god begin to unlock the heavenly mighty god and open the portals of heaven mighty god is on a kingdom and assignment and lord i thank you that he's living in his purpose father even right now god i put his family before you lord god in the name of Jesus, mighty God, you have put together and help me, mighty God, to, to, to execute what you have given him, mighty God, an incubator, mighty God, you have given him a seed and Lord, it become a tree, mighty God, you said in your word in Psalms 92, mighty God, he is a palm tree and we thank you, Lord, his family is a palm tree and he will flourish. Father, we bless you tonight, mighty God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for his life and his family to you be the glory the honor in jesus name we pray amen amen, amen. amen. thank well, you Rory. Okay. yes I mean, i'm scrolling and look at the people and i may say big up the people and women know renaldo <laughs> yourself yeah big up yourself and uh, let me see Andrew. Andrew. big up yourself right and you there and you yeah. probably dropped off, yes. You probably gone, yeah. Yes. Those are the prayers of me. Big up on yourself. And thank you so much for the prayer, Ms. Yes. Williams. And so next week, guys, is it's part two, Quarantine and Build Your Health with Dr. Kimberly Martin. Dr. Kimberly Martin is an obstetrician and gynecologist, and she'll be joining us next week, same time, to talk about health, women's health in particular, during this time of quarantine. God bless you. Thank you. Spread the word and see you again next week, same time. All right, then. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Rory. Yeah, man. No problem. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for joining. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Thank you.